Hey y'all, it's Sarah and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I am filming a reading vlog today, like a weekly reading vlog. Ignore the fact that it's already Thursday. That's irrelevant, right? So <laughs> I am filming a weekly reading vlog. I haven't done this since I read, um, oh my gosh, what is that book? Crescent City 2, House of Sky and Breath. Breath and Sky, Sky and Breath, yes. I haven't filmed a reading vlog since then, and that was a year and a half ago. So, um, <laughs> I am starting up again. My friends Marty and Lexi inspired me to get back on this YouTube journey. I keep forgetting where to even look at the camera. Anywho, so I've DNF'd the last like five books that I read, but um, Jennifer Lynn Barnes is my queen, and she can do no wrong. So, Inheritance Games. Um, the Naturals. I love both of those series. I have two more books in the Natural series. Obviously, this is the newest book in the Inheritance Games world. Um, I think it's just a standalone after the series, if that makes sense. Um, and she just announced the Grandest Game is coming out soon. I'm going to pre-order that. Um, so, super excited to read this. She's a little chunky. Um, let's see how long it is. 460 odd pages. I don't want to look at the very end because I will spoil it for myself and um, spoiler alert, I do that all the time. Don't do what I do. So I'm not looking. <laughs> um, but yeah, Brothers Hawthorne is the uh, next book in the Inheritance Games world and this is where I'm going to start my reading today. So it's been a long week. Hopefully I can get a little bit of this read and uh, yeah, I'll update you guys when I know more. All right. All right. And last thing before I start reading. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I have my author copies. Let's see if I can put these down. Of Victory Gallup. She is gorgeous. Um, this is what she looks like. I drew the cover, which is a gosh darn miracle. We've got horseshoes on the spine. We've got a horseshoe on the back. And, and, see if I can find you one. Oh my gosh. And, and horseshoes on the uh, chapter headings. So that is Victory Gallop. These are my author copies. Oh my gosh. These are my author copies. Um, the color is not showing true to color. There we go. Um, these are my author copies sending out to people who ordered on Etsy. But yeah, she's here. Okay, now I'm going to read. So I don't know if y'all ever met my dog, but this is Griffy and he's a perfect boy. Um, he was at daycare all day today, so he is very tired, but he likes to sit and look out the window. Um, when y'all first met Griffey, if you ever saw him, he was about 15 pounds. I am working my way through Brothers Hawthorne. I'm about 87 pages in. I think it's chapter 19. Um, I'm loving this book. I don't know. It's Grayson and Jameson's point of view. So you get two point of views and then you get some flashbacks. Um, I am living being back in this world and I know Jennifer Lynn Barnes just announced her next book which I'm really excited for but yes I am loving being in this world I love the banter I wish Nash and Xander were in it more because I love Nash personally and Xander is just really funny to me but uh yeah it's still a fun time again really short chapter so it goes by really quick um the other books in this series I read each one of them in a day like very very fast so um, I'm going to take my time a little bit with this one. I'm reading it with my friend Bree. Um, so I read like 87 pages this morning. And then I'm going to keep going probably later tonight or tomorrow. We are packing up our house because we're moving. So uh, we've got a lot going on. But yes, I have work today, taking care of my doggo, all that sort of stuff. And then I will update you guys later today. Uh, it's Friday, if I didn't say that before. So, yeah. so this is my dog, Griffey. Just wanted to say hi again. He says, happy good morning. Happy good morning. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. And you want to go out? Yeah. All right. So I was looking back at footage and some of it I filmed vertical because I'm filming on my phone and I'm an idiot and totally forgot like how to vlog. So I'm going to see if it'll let me input it. I don't know if it can rotate or how that works, but, um, yeah, sorry for this weird footage interspersed here and there.
look at all these books I just signed. Just taking a quick little jog with Griffey. We're on a little walk break right now. But yeah, we've been jogging, listening to Twilight. Well, New Moon. But yeah, that's our reading update. We're at 90% on the audio of New Moon while we run. All right, it is Friday afternoon. Um, at like three o'clock, I just finished listening to um, New Moon while I was finishing up some work. I am kind of taking a couple breaks every once in a while and packing my books. I know, I know. So those are the ones, sneak peek for another video. Those are the ones that are staying out for now. Um, and I've got a couple boxes going so far. More boxes over here. I don't wanna, I wanna keep them out forever. But yeah, so packing up, it's gonna be crazy. All right, y'all, it is Saturday evening. Y'all are getting glasses, no makeup, weird hair, pajama realness. But um, yes, I am 150 pages into The Brothers Hawthorne. I am, I'm obsessed. I've seen a lot of salty reviews on Goodreads. Y'all know a lot of salty reviews live there, um, but I'm obsessed. I'm loving it. I love the series. I love everything about it. I would read Jennifer Lombard's grocery list. So I'm going to read some more now um, during timeouts and commercials during the college football games. But yeah, I'll update you guys when I get a little further. Happy good afternoon, friends. It is Sunday, which means football. I just got back from riding my sweet sweet horse that I lease up here and it's gonna be the last time I get to ride him before we move so that's kind of sad but yeah you know so we're watching football now go Panthers well really go Ravens but um I married into a Panther family so here we are um we are packing during the uh commercials and halftime and all that stuff so wrapping and packing our kitchen stuff um I I'm about 200 pages into The Brothers Hawthorne, still obsessed, love, 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 and I also started at like 4.30 this morning when I couldn't sleep <laughs> the In the Likely Event by Rebecca Yaros. She also writes romance, that's her bread and butter, so um, yes, I am reading that one. I will give you more details when I know more, but yeah, it started out at like 4, 4.30, so yeah, okay. I'll update you guys later tonight after I read some. Happy good morning, friends. I woke up really early this morning, and so I just came out on my uh, couch to read here in the living room. I am about 250 pages into The Brothers Hawthorne. It's so good. It's like two separate um, games going on at the same time, which I think is really cool. And I love that it's full length. It's not just a novella. Like, it actually matters to the story and I think it's really good to see a little more detail about Jameson and a little more detail about Grayson the two primary brothers that that um feature in the in the series so loving that so far I ended up DNFing in the likely event by Rebecca Yaros um yeah was not for me so um but I'm loving the grand or not the grandest game that's her next one I'm loving the brothers Hawthorne um yeah, I'm looking over my bookshelf is, is empty. It's so sad, but yeah. So loving Brothers Hawthorne. I will update you when I get a little further. I'm about halfway and- Brothers Hawthorne yeah. was sent to me as a finished copy from Little Brown Books for Young Readers. Um, I do have a relationship with them. So they did send me a copy of those books. So thank you to them so, so much. I screamed when I got this book in the mail. Um, they sometimes send me ebooks, which is awesome. Um, especially if it's a book I know I want, really want to read. Um, but yeah, they sent me a finished copy of The Brothers Hawthorne. So I just want to give them a shout out and let you guys know. break to read Brothers Hawthorne. I'm at page 236. I'm going to try and read probably like 50 pages on my lunch break. All I want to be doing is reading this dang book. Y'all, it's so, it's so addicting. It, like I know people have been giving it a bunch of whatever because they think it's not the main story um, but I don't really care I just want to read whatever these characters are doing I find them very fun and compelling and each of them have very distinct 
personalities so I'm finally like actually seeing what Jameson is like rather than just being a silly goofball I feel like we're actually getting like into his brain which is interesting um I think Grayson is really cool he's very conflicted so it's good to see him I'm just missing Xander's hilarious okay. so fascinating to me because it's like really takes a look especially now in this book at like the upper echelon of society and like what they get away with and like how they operate their lives so differently than everyone else in terms of like secrets and money and power which is obvious but you know kind of how like one person can like wreck someone else's life I don't know it's like kind of sad <laughs> so the book is entertaining but that part's kind of sad if you actually think about it on like a real life level anywho I'm gonna read it all right y'all I have finished the brothers Hawthorne and I have some thoughts y'all probably know this but I DNF probably every other book that I start um I am very picky it takes a lot for me to really really love a book um and the inheritance games I'm obsessed with um I also have a lot of other hobbies, a lot of other things that I do. I write, I freelance, I am an equestrian professional. I do so many other things um, that I don't sit and read all day. I can't. <laughs> um, and I'm not going to say as much as I would love to because there are other things that I love to do. Um, so for me, this book, I wanted to be reading all the time. I wanted to read it instead of watching a documentary. I wanted to read it instead of going for a run or going to the gym, um, you know, or writing or doing my other hobbies. So um, I particularly love these books because for me, they have a twist every chapter. And I've said that before, especially about The Final Gambit. It's not like a thriller where you have like one or two plot twists at the end. Like these books have a twist every chapter and I absolutely love that. Okay, so first off, this book is relevant to the series. It is necessary if you're gonna continue on to The Grandest Game, you have to read this. Um, beyond that, I would say my favorite thing about this book was seeing Jameson and Grayson in particular as individual people. Um, the brothers are sort of like accessory side characters. The group of them themselves is like one big side character in the original trilogy, just based on how it's written. Um, and even though this book is written in third person, you still really get the individual perspectives of Grayson and Jameson. And I think that really helps you understand their motivations, you know, why Grayson is the way he is, good lord. Um, <laughs> why Jameson is the way that he is. Um, so I thought it was really important and really good to see sort of their background and see them more as a main character than an accessory. Last week I DNF'd a Kindle book. I finished Brothers Hawthorne. It is 10,000 stars and I also finished the audio of New Moon by Twilight, uh, which I'm gonna give five stars just for the vibes. So <laughs> that is gonna be it for this week's reading vlog. We are moving this weekend. It's gonna be a long drive, so I'm gonna have a bunch of audios that I will be able to review for you guys soon. But thank you for so much for watching this um, reading vlog and I can't wait to do my next video. All right, bye.